Crokinole Elimination is a fun variation to the traditional game of Crokinole. And today we will be explaining how to play in full. Crokinole Elimination comes as part of the Crokinole Cards Kit created by Coulter Hahn. And the second edition of this game is now available for purchase at Tracy Boards. If you want your very own set, go to tracyboards.com and buy yours today. With that, let's get into it. The objective of this game is simple. Clear all opponent discs off the board and be the last player standing. This game can be played with two, three, or four players. So as a basis, we will explain the two player version first. Before any game, make sure to remove all the orange cards and the purple card from the deck of cards. You should only be left with the blue cards to draw from. After that, make sure each player has 12 discs. Each player will draw six cards plus an additional bonus card for the player who shoots second. How you decide who shoots second is up to you. You can do rock, paper, scissors, you can do a 20s race, whatever you feel is fair. Once you've drawn the cards, place discs on the board in accordance to where you are sitting. So if you are player one, turn the player one spot towards you on the card and place the discs down. If you are player two, the exact same thing. Turn the player two part of the card towards yourself and place the discs as so. Once all discs are on the board, you start shooting. Players will take turns shooting one disc each and play goes exactly as it would in a National Crokinole Association event. Players must shoot from the outermost line or be in contact with the outermost line and the quadrant boundary. Any shot you take must make contact with an opponent disc or the shooter and any of your own discs that you made contact with come off the board. On your turn, you are allowed to reshoot your own discs that are in the gutter. In the rare occasion that all your discs are on the board, your turn is skipped until there is a disc available for you to shoot. If you score an 20, your disc is removed and one of two things can happen. One, you can reshoot that disc as part of your turn, or two, you draw a card and place discs accordingly on the board. Alternatively, if you score an opponent's disc in the 20, that disc is removed and they immediately draw two cards and place discs as so. The game continues until one of three conditions is met. One, you have cleared all opponent discs off the board, which means you win. Two, there are no discs in play. Everything has been cleared off the board. In this case, it is a draw and nobody wins. Three, all discs are in play on the board. This means one of two things. One, you need to watch our Crokinole Skills series. And two, the player who shot last loses the game. That is a full game of Crokinole Elimination. However, if you want longer games, you can play a series of rounds. Just keep in mind when you start a new round, whoever shot first will shoot second in the second round. Now, there are also three player and four player variations of this game, which we will explain very briefly. In a 2v2 match, each player starts with six discs and make sure that players on a team are sitting across from each other. Each team draws six cards plus a bonus card for whoever is shooting second. From there, play is exactly the same. Go clockwise around the board as players take their turns and go until one of the three win conditions is met. If you're playing multiple rounds, whoever shot first in the first round, the person to their left will shoot first in the second round, so on and so forth. This can also be done with three players in a 2v1 match. The person on their own will just start with 12 discs instead of six. The version that I am most excited to try is a four player free for all with a 1v1v1v1. One, one, be one, be one. All players start with 12 discs, just make sure they're all different colors, and each player draws six cards. In this version, there is no bonus card to be given to any player. Go until all discs are removed from the board and there is one player standing. And that is how you play Crokinole Elimination. We will be doing playthrough videos of each variation, but before that, we have the 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole Championship Tournament happening this Saturday, August 3rd. Now, we will be doing the coverage for the semifinal and finals matches, and I'm particularly excited about this because I've prepped some new 
animations and player cards that should make the viewing experience more fun for you as watchers. If you want to see those playthrough videos or stay tuned in for National Crokinole Association coverage, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Crokinole content coming your way. Thanks for watching and happy flicking.